And TikTok is in trouble again, this time with the state of Montana. More than in trouble, the Chinese social media platform is suing the state to reverse a ban of their app. The lawsuit argues it violates the First Amendment. Interesting that a Chinese company wants protection from the First Amendment, but <laughs> it is 2023. Montana became the first state in the United States to ban TikTok altogether, not just on the phones of the government, but banned altogether. Last night on Cuomo, Montana's attorney general summed up why. Well, the response there, again, is national security. And I mean, normally, if this was an American company, I agree with you completely, and we'd, we'd, we'd be having a completely different discussion here. But this is really, to me, about national security. And this is about the state of Montana stepping up to do something that the federal Congress and the federal government should be doing now and should have done a long time ago. Back with now with the panel. Uh, man, the irony that China is claiming First Amendment protections? Well, they certainly can since they are... They're not based here, but TikTok is based here, and they're based, and they have a base of voters or a base of supporters in Montana. This overreach issue, which is a slippery slope, the federal courts have rejected this already because the government in that case could not provide empirical data to support that this was a threat to national security. Montana will have a challenge unless they can show where TikTok and, and China have actually pulled our data and used it against us in some negative way because then you, ha you can have your rights of bridge, your First Amendment rights of bridge for national security purposes. So let's well, in, in, in rare cases, I, the mm -hmm. First Amendment violation is on people who live in Montana who want to use TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you're, as a citizen, as a resident of the United States of America, I get to read whatever book I want. I can watch whatever movie I want. I can play whatever video game I want. There was actually a famous video game ban case that made it to the Supreme Court. And the mm -hmm. Supreme Court, in a majority opinion, author, uh, authored by Scalia, the conservative justice, said this is a First Amendment violation. It's the same thing with TikTok. That doesn't mean there's no concerns about TikTok. I definitely have concerns about privacy uh, on the app and the data being China. The national security claims are a little bit harder to parse, but the bottom line is just because you think something is harmful, the government does not get to ban it if it's speech related. There are really ironclad protections. But if they have the data national... to support it, then you, they, well, they, the government certainly can intrude. The, well, I think there is support from the national security apparatus. I've spoken to several people mm -hmm. who are, work for the national security community, when you're talking about psychological operations, PSYOP, it is psychological warfare. Look at the algorithms in China, the way the app is used in China for Chinese children versus the way it's used here. Uh, the content is much more educational. The content for TikTok in China is used to teach science experiments. The things, there are time limits uh, for children in China. None of that happens here. And because they the don't algorithms. have the First Amendment. Well, but, but what we were talking about from a, uh, a mental health issue as well. So the algorithms, the Chinese owned TikTok platform is using algorithms to poison the minds of American children. That's what it is. And there's all sorts of evidence to this. It's not just China who does psychological operations this way. Uh, you have all sorts of nefarious actors. Russia does this. So that's really where it comes from a national security apparatus. I don't want a bunch of dead teenagers, do you? <laughs> Absolutely not, but they're oh, not just... Wow, whoa, they're really using quickly. it... But that's whoa. totally... I'm using the app Let's to try. research news. They could be watching clips of this program right now on no, TikTok. Look, I, don't like we, I, don't I don't think we put them on TikTok, but I could be wrong. I don't have it on my phone for obvious reasons. This brings up an interesting point, though, and I, I'm not sure it's a, it's a full sequitur for me, but I'm not sure it's a non-sequitur either, which is that the Europeans are now... Uh, fining Facebook over data privacy, Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook. They also on Instagram, on and on and on. They find others over data privacy. The, the question in the theory was, oh, well, the U.S. is focusing too much on TikTok and not enough on Facebook. My question is the other way around, which is if the U.S. government, if the, the, if the European Union can find Facebook $1.3 billion, Bob, why aren't we finding TikTok? Why aren't we enforcing some of these privacy restrictions on TikTok? Well, I, I think that's, that's a very good question. I'm not sure exactly why not. At the same time, you know, as far as the First Amendment, if you're going to ban something, to Robbie's point, you've got to make a good argument. And I'm not saying the argument's not there, but the argument has not, made, has not been made effective uh, to the public. And I think that's a concern. Now, maybe there are national security reasons. Why not? But you've got to convince the public to actually ban something that a lot of people, including my kids, like. And the that's, US, that's a problem. And the U.S. government has made Facebook do a lot of bad and questionable things in the same way if we worry about China doing this to TikTok, which I am, to be clear. Yeah. The U.S. government has put all sorts of pressure on Facebook to censor content that I think is totally inappropriate. But in a way, we're, we're now asking the U.S. government to play that same role.
What I find troubling, though, about in the case of the Facebook with the fine is that the Biden administration is doing nothing to stand up for American companies against the overreach of European regulators, as far as I'm concerned. And in fact, you, know, you have our FTC, Lena Khan, going over and reportedly uh, colluding with European regulators when she should be standing up for American companies. She's colluding against them, and that's horrible. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.